This is a CBS 4 News update. I am Elliot Rodriguez with a CBS 4 News update. We are two days away from the recount deadline in three major races in the state of Florida. Florida election officials are finishing up the election day ballots and have started to recount by machine by vote by mail ballots. Supervisor of Elections Brenda Snipes says the count will be completed before Thursday's 3 p.m. deadline. Miami Dade's election department is also working around the clock to complete a machine recount of the ballots before Thursday. Five additional high speed counting machines were rented yesterday in case of were needed to scan ballots. Election officials say they're done with the initial recount of mail-in and election day ballots in Dade. Amazon has chosen not one but two cities for its new headquarters, New York City and Northern Virginia. This ends a year-long search which generated interest from cities all over the country, including Miami. The online retail giant announced the development projects will create more than 50,000 jobs across the two headquarter locations. Amazon says hiring for the new headquarters will begin in 2019. And GQ magazine is supposed to be about gentlemen, but this month it's the ladies getting all the love. And topping its list of fierce females for 2018 is tennis star Serena Williams. She also graces one of the covers of their upcoming edition of Woman of the Year, but the cover has caused a bit of a stir with many questioning the magazine's decision to put woman in quotation marks. GQ says the typography for the cover was handwritten by designer Virgil Abloh, who has designed a pair for Williams and who uses quotation marks in his designs. Many say the quotations are offensive to Williams and totally uncalled for. Now, CBS4 weather. Our warm and humid weather continues. First, let's check on that disturbance that's located there in the northern islands of the Caribbean, approaching Puerto Rico. Still very unorganized. Lots of dry air around and wind shear. That being said, there will be some gusty squalls moving through the islands over the next day or so. Could be some flash flooding over Puerto Rico as well as Dominican Republic. Maybe even Haiti, but this disturbance not getting its act together. Here's what we're looking at. Some moisture for showers is going to stick around, but then as we get into the latter part of the week, a chance for some thunderstorms on Thursday. Then a cold front comes through. That comes through Thursday night. Drier air and sunny conditions. And yes, actually some cooler air coming into the area. Till then, highs in the mid to upper 80s for your Wednesday and Thursday, warm and humid, some spotty showers around spotty storms on Thursday. And then by Thursday night, turning drier and cooler lows Friday morning in the 60s, highs in the 70s, and just a little bit of a slow warm-up as we go to the weekend. Next chance for showers then coming on Sunday. Elliot. Craig, thank you. That's our news for now. You can always find us at CBSMiami.com and tune into CBS 4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all the day's important headlines.